Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Bill here today, and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about stereo width and a couple of methods that you can uh, use to achieve that. So, um, I'm just writing a tune at the moment, and it sounds like this. So this sound here, it sounds a bit too centered for me, so we listen to that again. So that sound is directly in the center of our stereo field, if we listen to it on, on its own, it's, it's um, dead center, it sounds almost mono. So what I want to do is I want to widen that sound and, um, <clears throat> and basically create uh, something that sounds a bit bigger. So there's two ways that you can go about doing this, or two ways that I, I go about doing this. Um, the first way is with a delay, a filter delay. Um, you can do this with any stereo delay, it doesn't have to be with a filter delay, you could do it with a simple delay also, you just need a, some sort of stereo delay. So um, you need something that has a left and a right option. So um, <clears throat> you can use anything, but I'm just going to use filter delay uh, for this, as long as your delay is stereo it'll work. And we have here um, three uh, separate delay times that we can mess with. One of them's for the left channel, one's for the right channel, and one's for both channels. So I'm going to turn the one off uh, for both channels, because we're not going to use that. <coughs> Excuse me. And instead, we're just going to use the left and the right channel. And so basically we have a filter as the first stage, um, as, the, as the first stage after the input of the channel, we have a filter. So this is um, how much signal is getting let through into the, into the delay. So I'm just going to open both of these filters right up because we want to get all the signal into it. We don't want it to filter at all. Um, then in the next section we have the, the actual delay time. So I'm going to turn both of these into time rather than sync. And then I'm going to turn one side down to one millisecond and I'm just going to leave the other at ten. So now what's happening is one side's playing at one millisecond and then the other side's playing nine milliseconds later. So we're getting um, a, a, a delay in each side of the uh, of the stereo field that we're hearing, and that's going to create um, some sort of psychoacoustic trick called uh, interaural time difference, and it makes stuff seem wide. So um, I'm just going to match the volumes also at the output, so we see one's four and one's six dB. I'm just going to make both of these zero dB, and then this um, final output I'll just make zero dB as well. And if we have a listen um, without the filter delay, we get this. And if we listen with the filter delay, we get this. So it sounds nice and wide, however, it sounds a bit phasey, uh, like it's got um, a couple of phase issues in there. So if we listen to again, we can hear like a hissy kind of sound, or like a metallic sound. So it sounds a little bit, um, a little bit weird, but um, <clears throat> sometimes you, you want that, and it can be good. So anyway, the second way that I do it is with utility. And what I do here is I create a mid side chain and then I just turn the side chain up. So here we have uh, our width at 100%. If we turn our width down to zero, the signal will become completely mono and we'll just be listening to the center signal. So if we have a listen to that, it sounds like this. And then if we turn that width to 200%, it's, we're just listening to the sides of the signal. So what I want to do is I want to put a utility into a rack and then I want to create or just duplicate that chain so I have two utilities in an audio effect rack and then I want to call one of these chains mid and the other one of these chains side <clears throat> and then on the side chain I want to turn the width to 200% and on the mid I just want to have 0% and then if we listen to this we'll turn that audio effect rack off so there's absolutely no difference and that's good because we know we don't have any phase issues. So now with the side chain, I'm going to turn this up on the utility by about 10 dB. And you can hear that the sides of the signal now are a lot louder than what they were before. So if we have a listen without. So now if I just create a quick key command, <clears throat> key commands, um, basically you just set a key and it can turn things on and off. And, do all sorts of stuff. I use them in my live sets a bit, um, and sometimes I use them to do A/B comparisons when I'm doing stuff like this. So I'm just going to click on the, um, or to open up the key commands, I'll press Command K, 
or it's control K I believe on Windows and then I'm just going to click on the on off device of the audio effect track and just press any key I'll just press G and then same on the filter layer I'll press the G key and then I'll press command K again to get out of that and <clears throat> now every time I press the G key you can see it turn one device on and the other one off and that's what I want so if we listen to one of these devices and now the other So they sound slightly different. They both sound wider. It's just up to you, which one you want to um, you want to use. So anyway, I like doing it that way. And yeah, to me that that sounds good. And this is the final result in the mix. Cool. So, yeah, thanks for watching and um yeah, go check out mrbillstunes.com. Cheers.